Inventor automatically creates the bill of materials for assemblies. When assemblies are created, you have the option of how you want them to appear in the BOM. When I click on the bill of materials icon, the model data tab is active. This tab matches the assembly browser and it lists all of the components and how they appear in the BOM. I'll click on the structured tab to show you the indented bill of materials. The structured tab is disabled by default. So I'll go to the toolbar, click on the View Options icon, and select Enable Bomb View. Since we want to see the indented bomb, I'll click on View Options again, and select View Properties. In the Structure Properties dialog, I'll select All Levels. I'll leave the delimiter set to Period and click OK. I'll expand the staple holder and you can see the parts are numbered 4.1 and 4.2. The staple holder bottom and staple guide were put in assembly to make it easier to place them, but they aren't pre-assembled. We need the parts to show up in the bomb as line items, and we don't want to show the staple holder assembly. The bomb structure setting is defined in the staple holder assembly document settings. Since it is common to make changes to components to get the correct bomb information, Inventor makes it easy to open a component for editing. I'll right-click on the assembly icon and click Open. And the assembly is opened in a new window. I'll go to the Tools tab and click on Document Settings. Next, I'll click on the Bomb tab and change the default bomb structure to Phantom. This means that the assembly is ignored in the bomb, but its components are listed. I'll return to the stapler assembly and open the bomb again. Now the stapler holder bottom and staple guide parts are listed as line items, and the assembly is hidden. The parts have a blue arrow next to the icon to show they are part of an assembly in the model.